Hey guys, and welcome to Zeldude's Play, The Minish Cap. Yes, the second game in the chronological timeline, and it is quite a different one. A completely different adventure. Yeah, um, well, we played a 3D, now let's play a 2D, and this is my favorite 2D Zelda game out of all of them. Uh, it's like my childhood Zelda, or at least one of my childhood Zelda games. Uh, I, I, just, mm -hmm. I just love this game. Uh, what, what are your opinions on Minish Cap? I love the game as well. I wouldn't say it's my favorite 2D uh, Zelda game, but it definitely is up there because it is so unique. I mean, as you saw just now, it's developed by Capcom. And uh, yeah. because of that, it really does feel different than other Zelda games. Um, it has its own yeah, charm. Yeah, one of four, five Capcom games. Yeah. And they, did the, they did the Oracle games as well. Uh, mm hmm Four Swords too. So yeah, they, they did a few, but I think... This definitely has it, the most personality to it and stands out yeah. the most. Easily the best out of all the other Capcom, you know, co-developed Zelda games. Definitely. Are, are we going with Link again? Like we did we gotta Spencer, go with Link. Like we we can't, Link. Yeah. yeah, not do that. Yeah, it has to be uh, Link. Uh, I feel like I always do that. You, I noticed you don't. You, you'll name your character whatever you want, right? You won't go with Link unless it's like a playthrough like yeah. this. It depends. Like the first time I play through a Zelda game, obviously Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom excluded, I always go Link. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> but then, yeah, when I when I kind of run through it again, I, I just kind of put whatever. Um, see, it depends. Yeah. Uh, yeah, if I'm recording as well, yeah, I want Link for the cutscenes. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm too OCD. But, uh, I have to see all NPCs. It has to. Be, it has to be proper. Link. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. You ready? <laughs> Yes, but wait, don't don't start yet, actually. There is something I want you to do now. Hit R, go to options, uh -huh. and make the brightness on dark. It's gonna look so much oh, better. Okay. You'll thank me. There you go. Oh, way more contrast. Okay. It's beautiful. Yeah, message nice. fast. Okay. We don't, we don't yep. need it. So. Yeah, we're good. Yep. Okay, let's, let's go. Yeah. So Here yeah, like you said, this is second game in the timeline, and yep. um, it begins just like the Wind Waker, and like Skyward Sword, I suppose, with a legend. Something that happened a long time before the game's event. A lot of so, unexplained lore just dumped on a us. A lot of... <laughs> it, exactly, yeah. So this happens sometime between Skyward Sword and the Minish Cap. Um, yeah. But we don't know much about this guy, because this is a Link that we never get to play as in a game. This guy's called the Hero of He has no hat. Men. And he has no hat, yeah, because... Yeah. I believe when the Minish Cap came out, it was meant to be an origin story for uh, for Link's hat, at least. Um, yeah. Chronologically <laughs> in the timeline, because this is before Ocarina of Time. This is how he gets his green hat. Obviously, yep. <laughs> Skyward Sword kind of spoiled that a little bit. But, right. Um, oh, that was way shorter, like, that little intro, though. Yeah, right? Okay. Yeah, you see a slightly longer version of that later on in the game. But yeah, the, uh -huh. the, the, you're right into the game in this one. And look at that, Zelda's just... Strolling along. Just strolling. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, in, in traditional 2D Zelda fashion, Link lives in a house in the middle of Hyrule, Hyrule Field. Um, mm -hmm. Outside and of the And has town family itself. members, unlike, you know, every other... Uh, or the 3D ah. Zelda games, he's usually just an orphan with no family. This, at least he has a blacksmith uncle. It's not really an uncle in this game. Just, he lives with the blacksmith, right? I don't think they're yeah, actually related. I no, I think they are. I think it might be his granddad, I want to say. Whoa, or, okay. Um, we'll see in a second. Uh, but yeah, Zelda wants us to come with her to the Picori Festival. Yeah, it's interesting because they already have a established relationship in this game. Usually you like first meet Zelda when you play as Link in the adventure. But in this game, they're already buddies. And they're already... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. um, but Link, yeah, Link obviously starts the fashion. game yeah, in bed. Yeah, has yeah. to be. Uh, <laughs> but I, I, I just love the design of this game. The, the pixel art is just mm -hmm. flawless. And this after this music, so, so it's stellar. Man. Oh yeah, Zelda's lullaby. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like mixed with the credit theme of uh, Ocarina of Time. Like that. Uh -huh. There's like that. You, you know what I'm talking about? It's not just Zelda's lullaby. It's like kind of this uh, remixed yeah. version. Uh, it's so uh -huh. good. So good. Let's go check out the festival. Okay, so she's just calling him Master Smith, but I'm sure they're related, unless I'm misremembering that completely. Yeah. Uh, but either way, yeah, he wants us to take a sword to Hyrule Castle, the Smith's mm -hmm. sword. Uh, let 
maybe if I... Okay. Like, speak to him again or something? I don't think he'll... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay, okay. so we need to not let anything bad happen to Zelda. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad <laughs> yeah. ever, ever She's happens She's just the Zelda. princess of Hyrule. She'll be yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one's well, out to right. get her. Wait, let me... Does he say anything else? Oh, right. oh thank she you. is... Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> get some pocket hey. money. Why not? Yep, um, some allowance and break... Okay. And you know. hit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Five rupees. There we go. We're rich. The allowance wasn't enough. You had to, like, look for more. You're like, I don't... 20 <laughs> yeah. rupees. I... <laughs> it's that greed. I do like... Okay. okay. Uh, One thing that's mm -hmm. so cool to me is the voices. Like, here, start rolling. Oh, even, yeah. Like, and Zelda, yeah, the hey, and, you know, just kind of <laughs> laughing. But, yeah. We got yeah. Young Link from Ocarina of Time's voice just, like, in the game when Link rolls, which is weird to me because, actually, this is one thing I wanted to kind of mention that I find really bizarre about the art style for this game. So, uh, first, let's mm -hmm. just enjoy what happens. Or do you want to just mess around? Because, like, yeah, I don't want to talk okay. over this, per se, but, like, look at how... This is easily one of the best renditions of Hyrule Castle Town. Definitely, yeah, yeah. Easily, easily the best 2D town in general i think oh yeah it's um, so beautiful vibrant cozy just, yeah you feel you feel comfy here i love i used oh, to spend yeah, yeah, hours yeah. as a kid just running around messing around here uh, uh -huh. so beautiful Wait, uh, what did you want to say before we but okay so yeah yeah so you see link's art style like so we know mm -hmm. in the actual artwork he is toon link with black uh, eyes you know the that kind of look but then you look at these oh, sprite work and it looks eyes. like yeah, yeah. they want him to be yeah and even with the voice it's like they want him to be young link like i always looked at the sprite work of minish cap as that is young link from ocarina of time like in design but like then you look at the artwork and like oh but i'm supposed to picture wind waker link in the tomb yeah. style so it's always been weird especially with the voice as well it seems like they're really trying to portray a different look than what you see in the actual artwork of the game um i don't know yeah. i always thought that was weird it is weird because the Minish Cap overall is kind of like a, a 2D min, uh, Wind Waker in in the way where it takes all of its designs from. Like all of yeah. its enemies are based on Wind Waker enemy designs. You know, like the mob. Even Zelda. The that, that is, Even Zelda. That is Zelda. Yeah. Uh -huh. But then you look yeah. at Link and he doesn't look tuned. Like. Yeah. But you're right. Yeah. In all the artwork, it is just it's Wind Waker Link basically. There's no difference. Yep. Yep. Uh, so I wonder if they yeah, ever Zelda's remastered it. Would they give us, like, a more oh. tomb-looking link? Yeah, I don't know, because obviously Minish Cap is in the conversation now for for games people want to see remastered. I'm a little bit on the fence with whether I want to see the Minish Cap redone. Just because... Because it is perfect, as it's, is. It's, exactly, it's already perfect. I think I'd like to see it ported, maybe with uh, more buttons you could map your items to... Uh, maybe things True. like less screen transitions, but mm -hmm. other than that, I, I don't I don't really want the art style changed at all. Uh, I just yeah. think it, it's such a such a beautiful game. Yeah, pixel art is timeless, and this kind of pixel art looks perfect. I mean, even a link to the past still looks really good today. So like, um, yeah, luckily with these games, they'll still look amazing. But I wouldn't mind a fresh coat of paint on it. You know, not necessarily like Link's Awakening, but you know, maybe in a 3D art style, that'd be cool to see. Uh, or even yeah. in HD 2D, like with cool lighting changes and stuff like that. Yeah, because Link's Awakening went for that kind of toy look, which Link's Awakening gets away with completely, and it makes sense given what the game's about. But the Minish yep. Cap, I don't, they can't change it, it from this, this kind yeah. of like toon style. But then you're right, yeah, I don't know whether they'd go for like full on Wind Waker top-down look or if they'd come up with something else i don't yeah. know you can never predict these things with nintendo mm -hmm. uh, but it would yeah be interesting uh, to see in a phantom hourglass spirit tracks top-down wind waker style oh you're right. yeah 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 that yeah could that work. could work uh, but zelda chose our present as this uh, yeah she chose a tiny was, little shield you know not princess like cool. uh, or girly according to the, <laughs> the guy who gave her the present you know shield really like a Small yeah. little shield, but I would have chosen it. Looks, it looks about us. I mean, it looks like Link's family shield from the Wind Waker. Again, probably designed after that, uh, the sprite work, but <laughs> I don't think it has any yeah. connection to it. <laughs> yeah, because it is the, the same as the, the first shield you get in the Wind Waker. Uh, at least yeah. in all the artwork it is. You're right. The sprite, you can't quite tell. Um, mm -hmm. But then, oh, yeah, it's Booger Boy. In the Wind Waker. That is, oh, I just realized. Was. 
Oh yeah, I, well, I don't think I'll be able to go. Back yeah, I don't think you go now. back now. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see, see him later. later. <laughs> yeah. But I, I was also, uh, I didn't realize they were there, the people I was talking to. I was talking to two people from the Wind Tribe, which is quite cool to see them. Uh, oh this yeah. Early on. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the guy we need to block his nuts or whatever yep. she says. <laughs> what does she say? It's funny actually that a business scrub and like they, they don't really mean <laughs> harm. Do something or, like, about those nuts of him. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because yeah, they don't mean harm. They just want to conduct business, but this is their way of conducting business. <laughs> yeah, right. Blasting you. <laughs> yeah. No, they don't get off to a good start, do they? No. Oh. Okay. This is a terrible place to be because you, yeah, you attack all your customers. <laughs> that not yeah. hurt. Okay. But I guess you did yeah, protect her to, to some extent. So, you know, the blacksmith sure. was yeah. right. You know, the shield uh -huh. helped. Uh, but that's all, all that right. you can provide. Look at this, look at the water and just the yeah. castle. The, the way this game looks is just amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, for real, it looks so good till today. I'm, I'm so glad we could play on the Switch in uh, yeah, yeah, pretty yeah, yeah. good quality. Definitely. Yeah. Brought the sword. Ah, okay. Pot potho, potho. I always look at him as like E-Glad, or E, is it E-Glad? E-Glad, E-Gad. <laughs> e E-Gad e -gad from e -gad like Luigi's from... Mansion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, but the Pakori Festival is apparently done, and it's time for the award ceremony, because we missed it, but apparently the Pakori Festival involves a sword competition. Um, and we know that Smith fought in one, which is an interesting bit of lore that we, I think, is explored a bit more later. We know that Smith, who may or may not be our granddad or uncle, uh, <laughs> fought in, the, in this Pakori Festival earlier. Yeah. But uh, this time there's a, um, a more sinister competitor. Mm -hmm. And even the king has graced us with his presence for this yep. event. So Vati wins. Him. We don't know who Vati is yet, except he's kind of an edgy swordsman guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> studied the blade and therefore won the competition. I think things would go this well. Yeah, so he enters the competition, but he has ulterior motives. Yeah. He wants to open the bound chest, which in the intro is where the hero of men sealed all the monsters that invaded Hyrule, because he's looking for something called the Light Force, which is different to the Triforce. Um, uh, yeah. Still a, golden, still a golden triangle, still makes you uber powerful. Uh, <laughs> it's a reused concept, but it's altered. Slightly. Yeah. But Kinda like he's this, opened, even. opened Pandora's box. Yep. And, and the king just disappeared. He flew. The king just like <laughs> yeah. he was off screen now. <laughs> the king just gets wrecked. Yeah. At least Zelda protected herself, and Link apparently the shield was enough to protect him from that. Uh huh. And it's interesting that he immediately notices that there's still some power within the veins of uh, the royal family, but he doesn't know what it is yet. But we do find yep. out later in the game what power he's talking about. And Link's showing some courage him. early on, uh -huh. trying to protect Zelda, even though he, he can't do anything, and damn. Just and like now that. She's stone. Yeah. Yeah. That is uh, pretty abrupt. Like, you just, now this, all of this happened within seconds. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But at least he didn't get what he's after. He opened the chest. There's no light force in there. He doesn't seem, t seem too phased about it. He's still he 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 ing away. Yeah. And, and he's off. Okay, and we yeah. wake up in the castle. Yeah. Uh, cool. there's, oh, there's no music. That's interesting. Yeah, that is interesting. I mean, it, I guess it lets you know that everything got real. Something's like, wrong. It, it's time. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> and here we go. I like how they just have the right. stone Zelda just sitting there on the side. <laughs> yeah, how do you think they moved her? Yeah. <laughs> Get like a cart lug her through the castle. Yeah, because if you drop her, she's dead. It's over. Yeah, she just breaks. No. <laughs> okay, so the Pakori blade is apparently the only thing that could have broken this curse. But unfortunately, it's broke. Yep. Got destroyed by Varty. Yeah, so the Minish Cap's quite cool because it's it's kind of like the fairy tale Zelda. So a lot of the, the themes of this game is all based on fairy tales and the Pakori themselves are a fairy tale to most people in Hyrule, but here the uh -huh. king admits that they are real, uh, that they live in the Minish Woods, 
But as we find out later, they don't just live in the Minish Woods. They live everywhere across Hyrule. They're just too small to see. Yeah, like you said exactly. There, our soldiers could search for days and never see any sign of them, Ooh. which is really cool. <laughs> yeah. And it's a shame because yeah. after this, they, they never return into the series. It would have been cool for them to be like a race that we see reoccurring. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm so so upset they never made it into Breath of the Wild. Uh, I assume yeah. you've seen like the concept art of them. Yep. That would have been so cool. Um, and, like, the best thing about the Picori in this isn't the Picori themselves. Obviously, it's the ability to shrink down and see the world on a different scale. Yeah, which yeah. Is, is the reason that I love this game so much, and particularly I love, like, uh, Hyrule Town in this game so much, is because yep. you get Hyrule Town on the normal, like, macro scale, but then there's a whole other version of it where you're tiny and you kind of... You explore all the little mouse holes and in, mm -hmm. up in the it's rafters another world. and the roof, and it's another world. Yeah, it, it's yeah. it's great. It's such a such a. It's great a Zelda way of... gimmick done really well. Like, yeah, a lot of Zelda games have gimmicks like this. This is one of the best ones, and definitely should return to the series. Like, it, yeah, it sounds right, stupid yeah. shrinking into the size of a minish, but that's so badass because you see the world in a new perspective, and uh -huh. you can do so much with it creatively. Exactly. Yeah, because it's it's the two worlds thing that Zelda does all the time. Yeah. Uh, you know, like light world, dark world, present, mm -hmm. future, all that yeah. kind of stuff. But um, this one they just do big and small, <laughs> and it works so well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, like the king said, we are heading our way down into the Minish Woods to yep. meet with the Minish and hope someone knows how to repair the Picori blade that Varty broke. Yeah, the adventures, like, it's kind of abrupt, but it begins, like, we're, we're in it now. We're in the thick of it. We're it's it. time uh -huh. to start our adventure, save Zelda, everything. The whole cliche that we do exactly. is, is all upon us. Like, And we're straight into it. it. And here we got the carpenters from oh, Ocarina yeah. of Time. Obviously. Yeah, uh, like you said, a lot of the character models or sprite work are based off of uh, Wind Waker, like we saw the Booger Boy. Now we're seeing character yeah. models literally based off of time. Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. Yeah, the carpenters, uh -huh. which is cool to see. The, the soldiers look unique to this game, you know? They don't look the like soldiers any do. soldiers yeah. in particular. Yeah. And oh, there um, is some clouds. That's kind of nice. Oh, here, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's quite nice. You don't really um, notice it when you play on a little Game Boy, but... No, but on the big on the, on the the big screen with the Switch, yeah, you can. But yeah. the thing with the, the, win the Minish Cap's world is it's, it's quite... Um, Small. It's small, but I don't know what the word is where it's not non-linear in that you can't free roam this world. It's, it's all quite segmented. Um, mm -hmm. So, like, if you ever find yourself stuck or whatever, it just means you don't have the right item or you haven't done the right kin kinstone fusion. So, like, obviously, yeah. earlier, we couldn't get past here because we didn't have the sword to cut this. Yeah. Um, here, later on, we'll get a, an item that will allow us to, to make that jump. This is a shortcut that we'll have to come back this way to open. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's These are not some a, weird a enemies. Kind of... <laughs> These are weird guys, yeah. <laughs> I don't really know what they're meant to be. They're like minions or something. Do you know their name? Because I, I moles. I don't know. I have no idea on their name. When we get the figurine okay. of them, because uh, that, that, that's a part of this game that I'm kind of dreading. Uh, oh, true. Uh, when we get the figurine of them, then we'll we'll find out what they're called. Yeah. But yeah, they're kind of like uh, a bit like Wigglers. No, not Wigglers. Uh, what's the Mario enemy? Pokies. They're kind of uh -huh. like that. Um, yeah, you, you just passed by Lon Lon Ranch. Didn't give us oh, Lon Lon yeah, Ranch yeah, vibe, yeah. so because there's no music. I wish that, like the music would kick uh -huh. in for Lon Lon Ranch. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the overworld theme, but um, seems like it seems wrong. It's not fitting. We, we need the yeah. Lon Lon Ranch. You need the Lon Lon Ranch theme. Yeah. You do. Um, I, we can't get to the castle at the moment, the uh, Hyrule Town at the moment, but you can you can hear a Pona's song very slightly uh, in this game. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But yeah, there's no proper Lon Lon Ranch theme, which is a shame. Yep. And but I guess we're already here. Speaking of speaking of music, this is one of my yeah. favorite tracks, the oh, Minish Woods yeah. theme. So, oh yeah, 100%. Minish just Woods is mysterious. a classic. Uh, but yeah, I we like can talk about this game's here. graphics all day, but the, the music as True. well is amazing. I'm not really sure what yeah. I'm looking for. It's funny, I was literally going to talk about amazing. the graphics again. <laughs> Yeah. Say the lighting I mean, is pretty nice. <laughs> I like, think we're going like... to be. I think we're going to be talking about the graphics the whole time. Just look at this game. For when was the Minish Cap? Like two thousand and four? I want to say something like that. that. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, um, holds up really well, though, yeah, like we said. Yeah. But, like, again, but this, this is where an HD, a 2D HD remake would be really well. Like, they could keep the pixel art the same and just add, see, instead of this kind of fog lighting, real 3D fog lighting. Like, again, there yeah. are games that do that. Uh, Square is a good example of abusing remakes like that, but I never complain because each time it's really good. Um, uh -huh. So are we... Okay, so coming into this, we're about to meet our companion, which is nice because, you know... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Yeah. It's about time. So um, here's uh, Luke in the thumbnail. This is our companion <laughs> for, for this game. Yeah. Ezlo, who is, yeah, a green hat. Which, yep. yeah, I do think, I, I think Minish Cap was intended to be the, uh, oh, and here's a piece of heart, we'll grab that. Mm -hmm. Might as well grab that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, th I, I think this is meant to be kind of the origin story of Link's green hat, although, like I said, yeah, Skyward Sword But again, Sword it was retcon because of Skyward Sword, uh -huh. yeah, it, 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 it didn't it didn't make sense now. And either way, this is a weird concept. Okay, so he wears a green hat because once he had a green hat partner, like... If that's the reason, <laughs> that's weird. But I mean, I get it back then, especially with the old hero not wearing a hat. But then again, he, yeah, he, he, he was doing his own trend because the original hero wore a hat. So exactly, yeah. What do you think about Ezlo as a companion? Oh, I love him. He, again, I mean, he is the perfect fit for Link, right? Like, and uh, his personality is. I love his personality. Like, stuff. It's the, what you expect out of like that old whiny companion that just kind of nudges you to where to go and everything and then when you realize about his past like Ezlo, it I, I don't want to spoil it but yeah uh -huh. such a good yeah character. he's got a cool a cool twist as most most Zelda companions should have yeah. some twists about who they are or why they need to accompany Link on his journey because I, no. I kind of mashed through the dialogue there but he doesn't really explain why um, mm -hmm. And also just talked over a really cool bit of music there where you get a little bit of the main Zelda theme as Link put, puts on his green hat. Right, um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't really know why Ezlo wants to come with Link. He just says, oh, you've got a magic sword. You're trying to break Varty's curse. Sure. Uh, yep. But yeah, that makes a, a, a lot more sense later on when we know who Ezlo is. But yeah, really cool companion. And now yeah. we're Link. There we go. He's, yeah, he's just your hat now. So now you look normal. Everything seems uh -huh. right. But now if you hit select, I believe, you can have him just pop up. Yeah, yeah there you can go. have him talk to you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. yeah. And by the way, um, Zeltic mm -hmm. is playing for the... I, I don't think we mentioned that. But yeah, he, he'll be playing this game. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, if yeah. You notice. Um, he, you know, exactly. Luke um, played Skyward Sword, so we thought, um, yeah, I'll play Minish Cap. And you genuinely uh, love this game probably I love more than I do. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I'll take any excuse to play this game. Uh, mm. Yeah, no problems there at all. And yeah, here we go. Let's have a look at this game's main mechanic, which is yeah. shrinking down to Minish size. So yeah, all throughout the world, there are Minish portals disguised as normal things. So here we've got a tree stump. Yeah. Yeah. But if we go on it, we get some weird Minish runes surrounding you. Yeah, like a weird And here dance. we go. <laughs> I love and, that. There's yeah. little mushrooms, and now we're. And makes you notice how many pixels you like. There's like the, um, the Game Boy is a lot more dense in terms of pixels than you, you might think. With how Link is able to shrink like that, like you didn't think he can get that small, um, uh -huh. and still be somewhat detailed. Here it's not detailed anymore. Now we're just like no, we have to have a little icon above Link. It's literally like a yellow pixel and a green pixel and a brown yeah, pixel that's it. surrounded yeah. by some black ones. But I've always thought, though, despite being a couple of pixels, I've always thought his run has so much character. Yeah. Like his little running animation. Look at that. Like you can see his little <laughs> hat bounce behind him. It's great. They did that with like a couple of pixels. And he's, yeah. like, he's, it's just great. And yeah, obviously you can roll as well, get a little kind of cloud behind you. Mm. But yeah, now we're Minish, I'll show this off. Even the the tiniest puzzles, like as puddle, I said, yeah, yeah little we drown in, in even those. So yeah, we have to. Oh, okay, <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> Luckily, there's to... no uh, fall damage, at least early on in the game, because you're not losing yeah. anything. <laughs> exactly. Oh, what? 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 How? I don't know. I don't even I, think, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's. All right. You're um, fine. There we go. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. So now now this... even an even an acorn is giant. Yeah, this is so cool because we, we saw this from afar. Like you could see it on the map, it looks like a dense area, just cluttered with stuff. And you're like, what? Are, I just walk over it. It means nothing. But then when you're a minish, it's actually yeah. an entire village. Like this is the pathway to minish village. The minish so. village. 
Yeah. And again, the music of this is so great. This is mm -hmm. like a, a much more up, upbeat version of the song that played during the, the legend in the intro of the game. It played this same song, but way slower, because it was like the legend of the Pakori. And now yeah. here we are. And we found, yeah, these little kind of fairy people. Like I said about the fairy tale stuff in the Minish Cap. These are the actual fairies. And like we can't many like them, fairy though. fairy tales and myths or whatever, oh, we can't understand what they're saying yet. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, the Minish are responsible for a lot of strange happenings in the world of Zelda. So the, in at least in the Minish Cap, uh, the Minish are the ones responsible for hiding things in the grass and in pots. It's why, yeah, like the rupees why... you find. Yeah. Exactly. It's why, yeah, you can smash pots and find monies because the Minish put them there. Um, so in reality, that allowance you got, that extra five rupees, was from probably a Minish just storing it there. Exactly. Probably a Minish <laughs> put it there. But let's grab another piece of heart. Uh, there's absolutely tons of pieces of heart, pieces of heart in this game. Um, yeah. All throughout the world. Uh, I think it, it's... It was two, yeah, 20 hearts in total, I think, two rows. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, there's a, a... Wait, we speak to this guy first, right? Not the other one. Or is it... No. Uh, you can't understand him, though. You can't understand it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but I, one tells us to get the item that teaches us how to understand them, right? Or do we yeah. get that? Yeah, I'm, yeah I think you want to try to get it now or just speak to him? Guy, just, it might as well show off what happens. Speak to him. Yeah, he's up there. Mm -hmm. um, I think Here he, is he the he Minish does... Elder. This yeah. guy speaks, yeah. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, okay. Because I'm pretty sure the, the place where you get the item is blocked off until you speak to Festari. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there we go. So you so need a Jabber Yeah. Uh -huh. It's apparently in the barrel south of his house. So let's go have a look at that. So all you need is a nut to, I guess, speak their language somehow. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it doesn't make much sense, but whatever. Uh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, there yeah, it is. It looks go. so looks so weird. So what does Link do with it? Does he like eat it yeah, or do you eat it or he put it in his mouth? I I, I don't even know. Like yeah, it is weird because it's got like it's got like lips on it. Yeah, <laughs> or something. So, yeah, and there, no, there you, go. you go. And and now we can talk to them. Yeah. Yep. Oh no, there oh, you, you go. So you've it. eaten there it. You <laughs> okay. Yep. Nice. And, oh, good. the elder says. Most humans can't even see the Picori, so I wonder if that's just because they're tiny or if they're, they're probably because they are like microscopic, just they're too small, mm -hmm. um, or a bit like, or, may uh, or maybe the they are like, yeah, yeah, Koroks. They're just like Koroks in Breath of the Wild or yeah. the dragons as well. There's a lot of things in Zelda about having to be pure of heart to interact with the magical world a lot, um, mm -hmm. which we see later on in the Minish Cap as well with uh, with walking on the clouds. Uh, he told us to go speak to the guy in the yellow house, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the elder. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, I don't know. But, yeah, Minish, Minish is so cool. And I would love to see them return. But yeah. I, I don't I, know, like, they'd have to they'd have to return alongside the shrinking mechanic, I think, though. So, it'd have to be in a game that suits their return. Maybe, I don't yeah, know, Minish Yeah, or Cap it could too. be, like, a side quest where you need to shrink. Like, it doesn't need to be the main objective of the game. Like, but just, like, have you interact with them, do something with them. Um, it just uh -huh. be cool to see them return. But what worries me about them not returning is because it, it could be, could have been like a Capcom inspired idea that Nintendo doesn't want to put into their universe. And that's why this whole game in general feels like it's a one-off even in the Zelda timeline because nothing is reoccurring from this game in the, in the future Zelda games. Even the Pokori sword that you're trying to reforge, all of that, it's kind of forgotten throughout the Zelda series. Um, it really well, is yeah, just with, kind of contained. With the exception of the Four Sword games, which I suppose this is like... Yeah, but then again, those are also um, contained in their own... But, like, let's be exactly, honest, they, they don't really... Exactly. Yeah, they're not connected you can kind to of, the rest of the Zelda. You can kind of universe. separate the Four Sword trilogy, I suppose, into yeah. its own little thing. Because yeah. they... Yeah, you're right. They uh, they don't... They don't... Um, connect too well with, with other Zelda mm -hmm. games. Even they this Hyrule, thing. All, all landmarks, Even this Hyrule, Death yeah. Mountain, Azora's Domain, this none of them exist in this game. They're all altered and different things and it's like, and and then these worlds never return. Like, we never get like Mount Krenel or um, you know, whatever I guess, Min well we get Minchi Woods or some weird oh, you, yeah. know, you know, reference to Minish Woods in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom but really not Exactly that. Um, yeah, exactly. But yeah, yeah I, uh, that's 
insane how fast that's happened, but we're already at the game's first dungeon. Oh, the yeah. The Deepwood Shrine. Yep. Um, and we're going to take it on as a minish, which is going to completely yeah. alter the way you puzzle solve things because even something that would have been a common object for Link is going to be a giant thing. It's so cool. So this is our first yep. glimpse into really seeing this mechanic at play. And which it, it, yeah, it's a great is amazing. Start. And I love the way, like, this is where we grabbed uh, a piece of heart earlier on. So I love mm -hmm. the way you can come and see the shrine, uh, see the game's first dungeon as regular Link. Uh, yeah, and but obviously can't it's absolutely it tiny, but then yeah, yep. it's a full dungeon for Minish Link, which yep. I guess we'll take on in the next episode. Yep. Um, so yeah, well, see you next time. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll catch you then. <laughs>